Hi my friends, good morning. I thought I filmed for you again in the morning time. So um we were surprised it was getting colder, like 38 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not cold, of course not. But I'm sitting over here by the window and I've always been kind of cold unless I take my herbal capsules with the cayenne in it. So I don't know why I'm out of words this morning. I'm eating my anise brot. I got my dolls out and that I have to clean and wipe and I got my Japanese cup actually for green tea but we made the coffee in it. I'm getting my cups and everything organized. Because I really needed to clean out all the cabinets and everything to organize stuff and uh, I, I put my grow garden back there. My grow light, I mean my grow garden. <laughs> I'm so silly. I'm sure you think I'm boring. So, I remember when we used to go to the Japanese, um, Chinese, Korean, all together, I think, restaurant, and my husband and I would go out to eat, and he went to work. He uh, used to work long hours and drive, um, drive was really stressful because everybody went to work around the same time. We would meet for lunch and we uh, would go out to eat and we haven't been out in three years. And um, so we're kind of, so we're kind of used to um, um, not going anywhere. like the virus was here years ago, you know, when it wasn't. Today is November 17th, I think, 2020. We got up early. I couldn't, I couldn't go back to sleep. My husband and I are together 24 hours a day living in this small structure. And if he goes outside too long, I get scared about the gunshots because the gunshots can be really, really dangerous here and scary. We just, of course, never know when they come, when the neighbor decides to shoot. I'm wearing a very holy sweater because I left it in the broken car that we had because we don't have a drivable car and um, just neatly folded everything and I don't know uh, that uh, roaches ate it. I thought the rats may have eaten it, but there were never any rats in there. There's nothing messed up in the car. So roaches must have eaten it. I never thought it would be possible. Moths, obviously. Silly me, where am I this morning? I think I'm losing it. So. I washed it nicely and of course it fell apart even more. The buttons are absolutely beautiful. I got it, I think, either, um, I think I got it for either a quarter dollar or for 25 cents or 50 cents. I don't think I paid two dollars for it. It's from a very fancy department store. Um, the one we used to just go to and I would wear it. We couldn't afford any anything there, but I would wear the sweater. My husband said, "Look, this is this is a sweater from your store." The lady wasn't impressed at all. Look at the beautiful buttons it has. My husband um, said to some guy that we talked to there at, while we were at the Nordstrom um, Mall. I mean, it was a big mall. Um, 
a very fancy mall. It it took a while to get there, like maybe for 50 minutes or so. And um, there's all a stop and go kind of a, a road where you had to take the highway. And um, I like to just go on, a, you know, um, with the traffic more so a little bit at a time. My husband would rather take the highway. And, um, well, we were outside um, that mall. We had just come out of Nordstrom. There were some guys selling, I think, art or something outside. It, it was around the winter time, and um, it, it was really nice. I remember that time. It was nice and fresh outside, a bit cool. And my husband said to that guy um, outside, well, and we can't afford to, uh, to breathe the air in there, in there. <laughs> and we couldn't. So I made a tiny guy film. Well, I didn't make a tiny, well, I may have made a tiny guy film in there. Yes, it was in that mall. Not at Nordstrom, but at another fancy um, store in there. Or maybe it was, mm -hmm. no, it was Nordstrom. My husband is here too. And um, I took Tiny Guy with me and the lady looked at me because I filmed all the coats and everything. I was kind of really scared and almost a bit embarrassed. The lady came up and asked what we were doing, you know, because I was really filming the price tags and everything too. Um, and then later on I lost the memory stick. I went crazy for a couple of days. I think the memory stick fell down by the heater core, by the fan. Somehow, I don't know why, I think I had it sitting up there and we never, we never could get it. And I think this, this would get a lot of views, that, that movie, because I made, I think, a really good movie, not to praise myself, but I think, I think it came out really good. It would have come out really good. So maybe one day I, somebody can take the car apart and look for that little tiny little SD card. I bought Folgers again. What? Yeah, because it was the cheapest. We got it in the mail, a bigger jar. I love the European kinds of teas. I mean, no, I mean coffees. I uh, don't have it together right this morning. Had some pain, it kind of distracts me a bit, and um, I guess I'm still tired, didn't sleep at six hours. So, we have a big jar of coffee. Tastes good. I love the Cafe Bustello. I think that's how you say it, I can't remember. I think the other one was Jakob's Grüner, was really good. Um, I like the little espresso one also. I'm wearing my beautiful gold necklace. It's actually 24 karat gold. I didn't wear it for years. Um, I sold all my other gold jewelry so we could pay the taxes. Even my husband's wedding ring and everything we sold. We had to sell everything to keep the land. Sold all his silver, um, all my jewelry, and I saved this one. Um, he got that for me. Oh my God. 20 years ago and I I saved it well I may have one other one um, well I sold the tear one I had a tear one and it took me a long time to sell it till somebody find somebody finally gave me some more money I sold my gold earrings 18 karat gold the most beautiful craftsmanship oh, I would have looked so pretty and I would have kept my holes in there my other ones, I think, were stolen out of the trailer. I start wondering where my pictures are, my other pictures. Um, from kindergarten and everything, I just never knew, never found them anymore. You always organize stuff. I'm very good in organizing. That's what I like to do. Um, and then we had the break in. And then I don't know where my other pictures are. I didn't never think they were stolen, but maybe they were stolen. I'm going to have to look some more for them. Um, yeah, 
Um, yeah. I'm eating my Ernie's bread this morning. I used to make my own. Um, I loved cooking and baking. I cooked and baked for my husband all the time. Like pretty much always. Every day. All the time. I had no dishwasher at the time either. So. Take me two hours or an hour and a half just to do the dishes after. I wanted him to come home for lunch. So I spent time cooking for a long time before. And he had to rush back to work. I think I'm putting a shadow on me, but I got my dolls out. It was only like a dollar, a dollar ninety-nine once. Yeah, no, I have to clean it, even as a necklace. Hello, hello. I love dolls. It even has little wooden shoes. I think I got it at a flea market once. It's just a simple little plastic doll with a custom. That's what it looks like. We already ate so many of them every morning. We've been eating them every day for the last week or last week. curtain. Well, not curtain, it's a tablecloth. I to freshen myself some more. I wash my face, my hands. It's really nice warm water. I got my new ring. Plus some like a rose. My skin is soft, no pimples now. I am casting a shadow. I haven't been outside much, except to get the packages. My husband raked yesterday, the day before yesterday, so we could walk better because the leaves are down. And the roots from the trees are growing up over the years and it's hard to walk. Then when the leaves cover them and I walk on it, 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 it hurts. Because I wear slippers. I'm gonna try and bake something. My husband is showing me the news. He, t he reads the news and he tells me a lot about the news. I guess the mark of the beast, as the Bible says, is coming soon, sooner than we thought. So, I guess you can't buy or sell without it. So. But the Bible says um, you're not supposed to take the mark of the beast. So I don't know what's ahead of us. Um, I am knitting a t-shirt. I didn't make it wide enough. So I'm making this as a s on the side because this is this is my t-shirt that's one 
part of it. Hold on, I have it hanging here on a plastic bag. Uh, this is my t-shirt up there like this. I didn't make it wide enough, so now I'm making a side. And I have to make another whole one like that. Um, and straps, of course, I thought I'd show you. So everybody carries these around nowadays. And soon they will be implantable, my husband said. That's what he read in the news. So um, the Bible says if you take the mark of the beast, you'll, um, you wish you would die, I think. And you can't die or something. Is that something else? Um, no. You get boils and stuff like yeah. that. And what is that where you... Um, Wish you would die, that's and you the, can't die. That's, that's something else. Judgment, yeah. That's something different. Yeah, okay. Something. My husband knows about the Bible. I don't. And I said, 15. my husband pretty, said, you, you can read in the Bible. Um, I haven't had my Bible out in a long time. Uh, what, um, yeah, I don't know what that is about. I guess that's Michael, the archangel, fighting the Satan. I guess I don't know when that is. Or is that coming soon? Siebenköpfiges Tier aus dem Meer und ein zweihörniges aus der Erde. Köpfiges Tier. Did I say it right? What did you say, 13? What? 16, chapter 16, 13, verses 16 to 18. 16. Verses 16 to 18. Verses 16 through 18. Can you read it? In English? Mm -hmm. And he, meaning the, the beast, mm -hmm. causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Uh, wait a minute. That doesn't sound like it here. Offenbarung 16? Dreizehn. Oh. Kapitel 13, verse 16 bis 18. Oh. There we go. And he causes all, meaning all people, mm -hmm. both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that understand that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six, or six, six, six. 666. Um, 16. 16. Uh-huh. What verses? Verse, uh, uh, verse 2. Verse 2? Mm -hmm. mm hmm Go ahead. And this is chapter 16, Revelation 16, uh, the, the vials of God's wrath. And the first, meaning the first angel, uh -huh. ha went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. Uh -huh. so, wait, wait a moment. Und der erste ging hin und goss seine Schale aus auf die Erde, und es ward eine böse und arge Drüse an den Menschen, die das Mahl Mahlzeichen des Tiers hatten. Und die sein Bild anbeteten. Und der andere Engel goss aus seine Schale ins Meer, und es ward Blut wie eines Toten, und alle lebendigen Seelen starben in dem Meer. Und der dritte Engel goss aus seine Schale in die Wasserströme und in die Wasserbrunnen, und es ward Blut. I never read that, I don't think. What in the world is that? Can you read it in English? Yeah, these are the vials of God's Can you? God's wrath? The vile judgments, yeah. There's punishments coming for all the sin in the world. 
Really? They reject Christ's forgiveness, and um, then the the first vial of seven yeah. vials is mm. the sore. So apparently, uh -huh. the mark of the beast. Oh, really? Either, you get sores. Either it's a terrible source mm -hmm. that the this, radio signals in, mm -hmm. your, in your body or something something goes wrong and people mm -hmm. get really sick. Okay. And, and the second becomes others and you know that gets into a bunch of other stuff. Okay, can you read three and four? Yeah. And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea and it became as the blood of a dead man. And every living soul died in the sea. So no more fishing. Sorry guys. And the third oh. angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of waters, <gasps> and they became blood. You mean we don't have food or there fish, no and then water. there's no fresh water? And I heard the angel of the waters say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and west and shall be, because thou hast judged us, for they have shed the blood of saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. Und ich hörte einen anderen Engel aus dem Altar sagen, Ja, Herr, allmächtiger Gott, deine Gerichte sind wahrhaftig und gerecht. Und der vierte Engel goss aus seine Schale in die Sonne und ihm ward gegeben, den Menschen heiß zu machen mit Feuer. Und den Menschen ward heiß vor großer Hitze und sie lästerten den Namen Gottes, der Macht hat, über diese Plagen und taten nicht Buße, ihm die Ehre zu geben. Und der fünfte Engel goss aus seine Schale aus dem Stuhl des Tiers und sein Reich ward verfinstert und sie zerbissen ihre Zungen vor Schmerzen. Und lästerten Gott im Himmel vor ihren Schmerzen und vor ihren Drüsen und taten nicht Buße für ihre Werke. Und der sechste Engel goss aus seine Schale aus den großen Wasserstrom Euphrat. Und das Wasser vertrocknete auf, das bereitet würde der Weg des, den Königen vom Aufgang der Sonne. Und ich sah, aus dem Munde des Drachen und aus dem Munde des Tiers und aus dem Munde des falschen Propheten drei unreine Geister gehen, gleich den Fröschen. Denn sie sind Geister der Teufel, die, die tun Zeichen und gehen aus den Königen, aus, aus dem ganzen Kreis der Welt, sie zu versammeln in den Streit auf jenen großen Tag Gottes des Allmächtigen. Mm -hmm. You can read it in the Bible. Can you read in English what I uh, what I read in German? Can you read it? And I heard another out of the altar, meaning an angel, say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous. Does it not say there. another angel in the German version? It does. Well, another one means another angel, yeah. No, und ich hörte einen anderen Engel. Well, Well, aus what? dem Altar sagen. This is not the original. This is original is written in Greek. These are both German and English, and they're both translations. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, I interrupted you. Could you and, just start it again? I'm and sorry. I heard another, meaning an angel, mm -hmm. out of the altar say, "Even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments." And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun, and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire, and oh. men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of God, which hath power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. Where does it? First, yeah. Verse 9. Scorched with grace. Yeah. No, I mean, first of all, the water turns into blood, and there's it nothing does? to drink, and then it gets really hot. And guess what mm -hmm. happens? What mm -hmm. happens when you're really hot? You're thirsty. Sorry, guys. Nothing uh -huh. to drink but blood. Did you read uh, verse 9? Or? Yeah. Uh -huh. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast, and his kingdom was full of darkness, and they gnawed their tongues for pain, and blasphemed the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores, and repented not of their deeds. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet, for they are the spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of, the, of God Almighty, mm -hmm. which would be Armageddon. So it, the punishments come 
There's nothing to drink. There's nothing to eat because there's guess what? There's uh oh no, oh. There's no no fish. Amazon deliveries. There's no fish. There's no water. There's no, you're thirsty like crazy, and you know there's nothing. To and you can't anymore. save food too and long either. They all have a and expiration date, and food doesn't an keep. And and then it gets really hot, and then it gets really dark. Oh, really dark. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Then this river in the Middle East dries up so the army can walk across it and go attack oh. when Jesus returns into Jerusalem. And who would that be, the army? The armies of the East. Armies of the kings of the East, which would be... Would, would be. Which would imply that the Eastern kings, like China, India, mm. uh, oh, Korea, really? Japan, they, they, they all kind of merge together and work together as, a, as opposed to fighting each other. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, F 15. See, ich komme wie ein Dieb. That one. Can you read that one? Bless, behold, I come as a thief. This is read in my Bible, yeah. as if it's said by Jesus. Oh, yeah? Don't say that, but it probably uh -huh. is. Blessed is he that watches and keeps, keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. So we're instructed to walk, watch, wait for the return of Christ, and keep your garments means uh, keep the commandments and be, you know, have clean, clean linen is the, uh, those who keep the commandments. And he gathered mm. them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. And the oh, that's how you write it. Armageddon. Yeah, which is which is right by a little town called Megiddo. Oh, really? Okay, in, in in Israel, and this it happens to be a big flat space where there'd be a good place for armies to come and fight each other. Yeah, and what? And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne, saying, "It is done." And there were voices and thunders and lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as not since was not since men were upon the earth so mighty an earthquake and so great and the great city was divided mm -hmm. into three parts and the cities of the nations fell and great babylon came in remembrance before god to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath and every island fled away and the mountains were not found that means every island was oh my over. god and there fell upon <gasps> men a great hail out of heaven every stone about the weight of a talent which is probably pretty heavy and men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail, for the plague thereof was exceeding great. Oh, that's what my husband was reading. Implantable microchips that can read your thoughts. They can't read my thoughts. <laughs> How can anybody read my thoughts? I don't think I can read it so well. Globalist Klaus Schwab made it clear that transhumanism is an integral, I feel like dumb and dumber, in annual, dumb and dumber said, is an integral, did I read that right, integral? Integral, integral part of the Dumb and Dumber couldn't say the word, the, the Great Reset, fun aside. Uh, when he said that the fourth industrial revolution would lead to a fusion of our physical, digital and biological identity, which in his book he clarifies is implantable microchips that can read your thoughts. So it's a German guy? I don't know. It sounds German. I don't know. As we highlighted earlier, the Great Reset, is that how you say it, yep. is attracting a deluge, deluge. deluge of fresh attention in the aftermath of the coronavirus pandemic, which Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, Trudeau. Trudeau said was an opportunity for a reset. The agenda is primarily based around dismantling the current capitalist system in favor of greater centralized technocrat rule, which will lead to lower living standards, less fuel consumption, less fuel consumption, um, fewer civil liberties 
and the accelerated automation of jobs. However, another key aspect uh, to the Great Reset or the Fourth Industrial Revolution, as Schwab calls it, is merging man with machine. We always make fun. I, I made fun with my husband um, because we, we buy a lot of Amazon products. And um, I said, you know who packed it? It's Robert. And he laughed. He got the joke about it's a, a robot. So, and that's what he means to replace men with machines? No. No? He means to turn men into machines by implanting a microchip oh, into them. Oh, okay. What the four? Okay. Yeah. Transhumanism means you become... <gasps> I'll be a I robot. I'm not a robot. <laughs> I'll be a robotini or something. What the fourth industrial revolution will lead to is a fusion of our physical, digital, I already read that, right? And biological identity Schwab told the Chicago Council on Global Affairs. There, there is a video on it. Is that on YouTube? Schwab went on to explain how his book Shaping the Future of the Fourth Industrial Revolution was particularly popular in China. Well, you should read it. South Korea and Japan, with the South Korean military alone purchasing 16,000 copies. In the book, Schwab explains with excitement how upcoming technology will allow authorities to intrude into the hitherto's private space of our minds. Oh, hitherto. Uh, private space of our minds reading our thoughts and influencing our behavior. Question is, am I dumb or dumber? What do you think? Leave a comment down below, my friends. Love you. They can control my thoughts? That's what they say they think they can do. Really? Oh. It's not technically possible yet, but they're planning it. Oh, he goes on to predict as if they can draw my thoughts. Uh, am I going to make any more movies? It's not going to be me talking anymore. <gasps> what, what am I going to tell you guys <laughs> all day long? Or say stuff that I don't mean? <gasps> Ooh, somebody asked me to cross my eyes. Can you cross your eyes? I never answered. Sorry about that. Yes, I can. He goes on uh, to predict that uh, this will provide an incentive for law enforcement to implement minority report style pre-crime programs. What does that mean? Pre-crime is they know before you commit the crime what you're planning on doing. <laughs> They'll, well, I don't have to worry you. about that. They'll come and arrest you just for thinking about it. Okay. But but they control the thoughts, though. No. Oh, you mean they don't think for you? No. They no, know no, what no. you're thinking. Well. You mean they don't... It's not technically possible yet, but they sure like it, and they're planning on it. Silly me, I think I'm dumb and dumber. As capabilities in uh, this area improve, the temptation... Capa... Capa... Capabilities, oh my God. In this area, improve the temptation for law enforcement agencies and courts to use techniques to determine the likelihood of criminal activity, assess guilt, or even possibly retrieve memories directly from people's brains will increase, writes Schwab. Even crossing a national border might one day involve a detailed brain scan to access an individual's security risk. They will read my brain to see what I'm planning on doing, visiting family. Schwab also waxes lyrical about the transhumanist utopian dream. What's that mean, utopian? Uh, everything is wonderful. Oh. It, it never works out, dream yeah. shared by all elitists, which will ultimately lead to the creation of human cyborgs. Cyborgs? Yeah, 
They didn't have machines. Okay, fourth industrial revolution technologies will not stop at becoming part of the physical world around us. They will become part of us, right, Schwab? Indeed, uh, some of us already feel that our smartphones have become an extension of ourselves. Today's external devices, from wearable computers to virtual reality headsets, will almost certainly become implantable in our bodies and brains. And then you have complete loss of freedom. Yeah, when that's implanted. You're a slave. Schwab also openly endorses something the media still claims is solely a domain of discussion of for conspiracy theorists, namely active, implantable microchips that break the skin barrier of our bodies. The globalist hails the arrival of implanted devices that, that will likely also help to communicate thoughts normally expressed verbally through a built-in smartphone, a built-in smartphone. Um, um, it only has two Strichler there and on the other one has, has one and on that one has two. And potentially unexpressed thoughts or moods by reading brainwaves and other signals. So, in other words, the fusion of our physical, digital, and biological identity relates to the transhumanist singularity and a future where people have their every moment tracked and every thought read by an implantable microchip. My husband could make a much better video than I can. He can read better and all. It isn't, I wasn't planning on this here. It isn't a conspiracy theory when they are openly telling you what they want to do. What is the great reset with? So, well, we could, oh yeah, in, in Davos? In Davos, Switzerland, they plan on talking about mm. this. Yeah, subscribe on YouTube. We could subscribe. Right, what did you say today? America's young people, everybody's got a phone. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have a cell phone for a very long time, for years and years later. Shame, time's going by fast. Wishing you a beautiful day today. You probably find my videos, my morning time videos, boring. Click away right away, but that's okay. Love you. Bye. Till soon.